out here, will you please? <laughs> you know, I've heard so much about the Kingston Trio that it's really a thrill to finally meet you. Tell me, which one of you is Tom Dooley? <laughs> Dooley happens to be a song we recorded. Oh, oh my goodness. I, I'm so embarrassed. I, I don't know what to do. Why don't you hang down your head and cry? <laughs> I, I must say I asked for that one, didn't I? Now, I've heard of the Kingston Trio for a long time. How long have you fellas been together? Oh, Mr. Bennett, we organized the group in 1957. Well, that's quite a while. You know, sometimes when uh, uh, people have been together too long, they have their little differences and arguments. And how about you, boys? Do you get along real well? Oh, sure. We get along fine. Matter of fact, we had our first argument about a week ago. Oh. What was it about? Well, uh... <clears throat> no, tell me. What? What was it about? When we were asked to be on your show, uh, two of us didn't want to come. <laughs> nice of you to talk the others into it. No, no, he's not the one who wanted to come. <laughs> no, well, then it was nice of you. I didn't want to come either. <laughs> no, well, then... Uh... Not me. <laughs> well, if none of you wanted to come, what were you arguing about? For heaven's sake. Well, Jack, we don't want you to get the wrong impression. It's just that we had a conflict of dates. You wanted us to be on your show tonight, and we had a chance to do something else. Well, what uh, exactly? What were you giving up? A trip to Disneyland. <laughs> well, you made the right decision, because you'll make almost as much money here as you'd spend there. <laughs> Ever since I found out that uh, you were going to be on the show, there's something that I've been wanting to ask you. Now, you've had great success doing what they call folk songs, you see? And I've always wondered, where did they come from? Who writes the lyrics? Who makes them up? Well, Jack, the lyrics really aren't written in that sense. They're uh, actually true stories about real events. Really? Right. That's right, and when a lot of people listen to folk songs, they should pay more attention to the lyrics. Yes, you see, Mr. Benny, every folk song tells a story. Uh -huh. For example, we recorded a song called the Tijuana Jail. It is actually a true story. A Tijuana Jail? Yeah, it's about three guys who went down to Mexico to do some gambling. They got arrested, couldn't post bail, so they had to stay in the Tijuana Jail. You mean all that is in the lyrics? That's right. And if you listen closely when we sing it, you can visualize the whole story. <laughs> To have a little fun in Mexico Well, we had it up at a gambling spot Where the liquor flowed and the dice were hot So here we are in the Tijuana jail Ain't got no friends to go a bill So here we'll stay, cause we can't be Just send our mail Jail. I was shooting dice, breaking in the dough, and then I heard that whistle blow started to run, when a man in blue said, senor, come with me, cause I want to. So here we are, in the Tijuana Jail, ain't got no friends to go out. Just five hundred dollars and they'll set us free. Well, I couldn't raise a penny if it threatened me, but I know five hundred, they don't sound like much. But just try to find somebody to touch. So here we are in the Tijuana jail. I ain't got no friends. And I 
of Dolores Del Rio Fan Club. <laughs> you write it down. What the word, See. Huh? Wet back. Tonight. It's all right. I take care of it. What happened? Somebody crossed the border by the river? No, 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 no. That was my wife. On the way home, she wants me to stop by the laundry, leave the dry wash, and bring the wet back. <laughs> Is that for us? Uh, this is the last meal for the prisoner who's going to face the firing squad tomorrow. But tonight, we are giving him tomatoes, enchiladas stuffed with chili, and red peppers with nice hot sauce. <laughs> now, why would he give him a dinner like that when he's going to face a firing squad? After he eats that, a bullet will feel good. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Into the cell with you. But what did I do? You were double parked. <laughs> double parked? I was on a bus. Anyway, why pick on me? There were 50 others there. Your transfer had the unlucky number. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, oh, oh. Now, wait a minute. Don't I have to escape? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, why you, come on. Yeah. Do this to me. You can't throw me in jail, just... Look, on account of double parking. Hey, fella, fella, don't complain. There's a guy out there who's gonna face a firing squad. Face a firing squad? What did he do? He walked out in the middle of a Dolores Del Rio picture. <laughs> <laughs> but, Polly, you cannot do this to me. They're not gonna keep me in jail here just for double parking. <laughs> do you fellas know any lawyer around here? Don't ask us. We're new here. There's a fellow over there. Maybe, maybe he would know one. Oh, mister. Mister. Are you, are you awake? <laughs> May I talk to you? She. <laughs> Are you familiar with this place? Si. What's your name? Si. Si? Si. Do you know where there's a good lawyer? Si. Well... Is he near here? Si. <laughs> Who is it? Me. <laughs> you? Si. Some lawyer. How long have you been in jail? I've been in this jail for 40 years. <laughs> You've been here 40 years? Si. <laughs> but where do you come from? Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland? 
Ohio. Then you're an American. Si. Well, you certainly sound like a Mexican. After you've been in this jail for 40 years, you can help it. <laughs> Tomorrow I start to drink their water. <laughs> you for? Well, I came down here, and I was in my hotel room, and I made a pot of coffee, and it wasn't strong enough, so I cooked it over again. You cooked the coffee over again? Si. Well, what's wrong with that? They got me for double perking. <laughs> Perking? Si. <laughs> no, cut that off! What a lousy joke. Double perky. Should have heard the one about the wetback. <laughs> I'm glad I missed him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Captain, I got a prisoner. What did you arrest him for? He was doing the Mexican hat dance. What's wrong with that? I was wearing it. <laughs> we got more prisoners. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't bring any more prisoners in here. It's too crowded. Ah, silencio, yes, silencio. Why silencio? <laughs> the show. And now I'd like to bring out my guests for a bow, the Kingston Trio. <laughs> Fellas, it was wonderful having you on the show, and I'd love to have you on again sometime. Well, Mr. Bennett, we'd love to come back, but you're gonna have to check with our manager first. Your manager? Yeah, here he comes now. <laughs> Si. You mean you represent the Kingston Trio? Si. And you you're going to handle them for all their appearances? Si. What's your name? Mel Blank. You had to be a big ham and ruin a great routine. Did you notice that? Si. 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 <laughs> Let's just get out of here. Well, what's your rush? If we hurry, we can still make it to Disneyland. <laughs> Good night, folks. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>